हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन आइगन वैल्यूज एंड आइगन वेक्टर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट आइगन स्पेस ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स वी विल सी व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ आइगन स्पेस एंड वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट आइगन स्पेस ऑफ ए गिवन मैट्रिक्स सो एज वी नो वी नो दैट इफ कैपिटल ए इज ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन then a non zero vector x in rn is an eigen vector of a if there exists some scalar lambda such that ax equal to lambda x where lambda is called the eigen value of this matrix and this x is called the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda now if we write down the solutions of this system to find out eigen vectors corresponding to eigen value lambda we are solving this homogeneous system and we take determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 therefore this homogeneous system has infinite number of solutions and among those solutions one solution is x equal to 0 vector and remaining non zero non zero solutions are nothing but eigen vectors of this matrix so if we consider the set of all these vectors x in rn such that they satisfy this system ax equal to lambda x so this set is called eigen space of matrix a corresponding to eigen value lambda so this set includes all the vectors in rn which satisfy ax equal to lambda x or all the vectors in rn uh, which are solutions of this homogeneous system so obviously x equal to 0 is here and other solutions are nothing but eigen vectors of given matrix a so this set is nothing but set of all eigen vectors of a matrix a corresponding to eigen value lambda with zero vector so this set is known as eigen space of a corresponding to eigen value lambda so if our matrix is of order n there will be n eigen values so for each eigen value uh, we will have eigen space corresponding to that eigen value so this is the definition of eigen space of a matrix uh, we have written that definition here let capital a be a square matrix of order n now if lambda is an eigen value of a then the set denoted by capital e equal to vectors x in rn such that ax equal to lambda x that means we consider those vectors in rn which are solutions of this homogeneous system a minus lambda i x equal to 0 so as we know this homogeneous system has all the eigen vectors of a are solutions of this homogeneous system and also zero vector is solution of this system so this set capital e is nothing but union of two sets the zero vector and another set is set of eigen vectors of matrix a corresponding to eigen value lambda so we will remember this uh, definition of eigen space it is the set of vectors in rn which satisfy this ax equal to lambda x or which are solutions of the system a minus lambda i x equal to 0 and this set is called an eigen space of a corresponding to eigen value lambda so for each eigen value we have eigen space corresponding to that eigen value lambda so if we ask uh, if they ask to find out eigen space of a matrix corresponding to its eigen values then we have to just find out eigen values of the given matrix and for each eigen value we have to find out eigen vectors by solving this homogeneous system 
and the set of eigenvectors with zero vector is nothing but eigenspace corresponding to that eigenvalue lambda. So we consider one example. Here we have mentioned that the eigenvectors of a matrix A corresponding to eigenvalue lambda are nothing but non-zero vectors in eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda. That means non-zero solutions of this homogeneous system are nothing but eigenvectors. So we find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors and here we are asked to find out eigenvalues and corresponding eigenspaces for this matrix capital A. So first we will find out eigenvalues of this matrix and for each eigenvalue we will find out eigenspace. Now eigenspace means those vectors which satisfy this system. That means ultimately we have to find out eigenvectors and set of eigenvectors with zero vector is nothing but eigenspace corresponding to that eigenvalue lambda. So this is the ultimately question of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Instead of eigenvectors they have written that find eigenspaces corresponding to eigenvalues of given matrix A. So first we find out eigenvalues of this matrix A. So for that we start by writing characteristic equation of this matrix. So we subtract lambda from the diagonal and we keep other entries as it is. So here 1 minus lambda, 5 minus lambda is diagonal and here 3 minus 1 as it is and then we take determinant. So determinant of 2 by 2 matrix is 1 minus lambda times 5 minus lambda minus 3 into minus 1 which is plus 3. And if we multiply these two we have 5 minus lambda minus 5 lambda plus lambda square plus 3 equal to 0. So this we can rewrite as lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 8 equal to 0. And now we factorize this minus 6 lambda can be written as minus 4 lambda minus 2 lambda and here in the first two terms we can take lambda common and here minus 2 common so we obtain lambda minus 4 times lambda minus 2 equal to 0 therefore lambda equal to 4 2 are eigenvalues of a so we will find out eigenspace corresponding to both the eigenvalues. So first we find out eigenspace corresponding to lambda equal to 4 and uh, to find out eigenspace corresponding to lambda equal to 4 first we will find out eigenvectors by solving this system a minus lambda i x equal to 0 or a minus lambda i x equal to 0. So for that we assume that suppose x equal to x1, x2 be an eigenvector of A corresponding to eigenvalue lambda. Then this eigenvector is a non-trivial solution of Ax equal to lambda x that is A minus lambda i x equal to 0. And A minus lambda i is 1 minus lambda 3 minus 1 5 minus lambda. x is column vector x1 x2 right hand side is 0 vector now if we multiply these two matrices using matrix multiplication first row into first column that is 1 minus lambda into x1 plus 3 x2 equal to 0 and second row this column minus 1 into x1 plus 5 minus lambda x2 equal to 0 so this is the system of homogeneous equations corresponding to eigenvalue lambda. So here we substitute lambda equal to 4 first and we will find out eigenspace corresponding to lambda. Then we will substitute lambda equal to 2 and we will find out eigenspace corresponding to lambda equal to 2. So for lambda equal to 4 here we have 1 minus 4 that is minus 3x1 plus 3x2 equal to 0. If we put lambda equal to 4 in equation 1, we obtain minus 3x1 plus 3x2 equal to 0. And from equation 2, we obtain minus x1 plus 5 minus 4. 
that is minus x1 plus 3x2 equal to 0. I'm sorry, this is 5 minus 4 that is minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0. But these both the equations are same. You can see if I take x1 uh, this if I take 3 common I have minus x1 plus x2 equal to 0 which is similar to this. So therefore we can write this we can rewrite this equation as x1 minus x2 equal to 0. So we obtain x1 equal to x2. So x1 depends on x2. So we can consider x2 as free variable and x1 is any uh, x1 is real number dependent on x2. So it is leading variable. So here x2 is free variable it can take any value. So therefore x equal to x1 x2 here we replace x1 by x2 and this vector we can rewrite as x2 times this vector 1 1. So these vectors are nothing but they are the solutions of ax equal to lambda x for x2 equal to 0 we will obtain eigen uh, we will obtain a zero vector so if x2 is non zero all these are eigen vectors of a and uh, therefore the eigen space of a corresponding to lambda equal to 4 is here our matrix is 2 by 2 matrix so they are the vectors in r2 such that ax equal to lambda x and here lambda is 4. So we write down all these vectors x2 times 1 1 vector where x2 is any real number. So this is the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equal to 4. If we take x2 equal to 0 we will have 0 solution that is 0 vector. So this set includes all the vectors in R2 which are satisfying this system. So therefore this set capital E is an eigenspace of given matrix A corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equal to 4. If we wish we can write this as x2 times order pair 1 1 also because elements of R2 are can be written as order pair x y where x and y are any real numbers. Here we have written this order pair as a column vector or column matrix. Now we find out eigenspace corresponding to lambda equal to 2. So for that we put lambda equal to 2 here. So first equation is 1 minus 2 minus x1 plus 3x2 equal to 0. And the second equation is minus x1 plus 5 minus 2 that is 3x2 equal to 0. So here also we get the same equations. Both the equations are same. Minus x1 plus 3x2 equal to 0. So from this we obtain x1 is equal to 3x2 where x2 is any real number. So here also x2 is free variable. x1 is leading variable. So therefore we write x equal to x1 x2 where x1 is 3x2 we can rewrite this vector as x2 times 3 1. So these are the eigenvectors of a corresponding to lambda equal to 2 for non-zero values of x2. For x2 equal to 0 we will obtain 0 vector. So therefore the eigenspace of a corresponding to lambda equal to 2 is by definition set of all vectors in R2 which satisfy ax equal to lambda x which is equal to 2x. So these are the vectors which satisfy this system. So we write down this is equal to x2 times 3 1 where x2 is any real number or we can rewrite this as x2 times order where 3 1 x2 belongs to R. So in this way we can find out eigen eigenspaces corresponding to eigenvalues of given matrix. For each eigenvalue we will have eigenspace. Now if we observe one thing we have discussed before this also here all the eigenvectors are multiple of this vector vector 
with entries 1 1 so this vector is linearly independent eigenvector because all the eigenvectors are multiple of this vector so if we consider this vector in set we can write it in a set in this way or in this way also so this is this set of linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 4 so this set which contains linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 4 is called a basis for eigenspace the set of linearly independent eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda is called basis for eigenspace of a which corresponds to lambda equal to 4 so uh, in this way if they ask to find out basis for eigenspace then also we we have to mention in this way here we have to find out that all the eigenvectors are multiple of which linearly independent eigenvector so here all the eigenvectors are multiple of this vector 1 1 therefore the set containing this vector is a basis for eigenspace of a corresponding to lambda equal to 4 or in other words we can say that this linearly independent eigenvector forms a basis for eigenspace of capital A corresponding to lambda equal to 4. Similarly, for lambda equal to 2, we can see this vector 3, 1 is linearly independent eigenvector. All the eigenvectors x are scalar multiple of this eigenvector. So, if we consider this set containing this linearly independent eigenvector, then it is a basis for eigenspace of A for lambda equal to 2. So we have written it as a remark here. The linearly independent eigenvectors in eigenspace of A corresponding to eigenvalue lambda form a basis for eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda. In this uh, example which we have discussed, the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 4 is 1, 1. Therefore, it forms a basis for eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda equal to 4. Or we can say that set containing this vector is a basis for eigenspace of A corresponding to that eigenvalue. Similarly, the linearly independent eigenvector 3, 1 forms a basis for eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda equal to 2. So, in this lecture, we have defined eigenspace of a matrix corresponding to eigenvalue lambda. It is given by set of vectors in Rn. If A is a matrix of order n by n, then eigenspace of A corresponding to lambda is nothing but set of vectors in Rn such that Ax equal to lambda x. So this set is nothing but the set of eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda with zero vector it includes zero vector also because zero vector is always solution of this and the linearly independent eigenvectors are nothing but basis for capital e so for each eigenspace we can write its basis by considering set of linearly independent eigenvectors as we have discussed so, I hope you like this lecture.
थैंक यू वेरी मच